Australia's need for new air defence capable ships was outlined in the Australian Government's Defence White Paper in 2000. The air warfare destroyers will be called the Hobart class. The air warfare destroyer program will provide the Royal Australian Navy with three of the world's most capable multi-mission warships. The AWD Alliance, responsible for delivering the program, consists of the Defence Material Organisation, Lead Shipbuilder ASC, and Mission Systems Integrator Raytheon Australia. The destroyers are being constructed across three shipyards in Australia and one in Spain. Using a modular method, they are then consolidated at the South Australian Government's Common User Facility in Adelaide. The project is continuing to build a highly skilled naval shipbuilding industry for the future, directly employing thousands of people. Australia's geographic realities dictate the need for strong maritime capabilities, as our national security and prosperity is defined by the sea. The Hobart-class destroyers will be the most capable warships ever operated by the Navy, with layered offensive and defensive capability. The ships will be able to take a leading command and control role with ADF and coalition forces. Able to displace up to 7,000 tons at nearly 150 metres long and 55 metres high from the keel to the top of the mast, the new destroyer is a significantly larger vessel than the ship it supersedes. The Hobart class has the Navantia designed F100 class currently in service with the Spanish Armada as the baseline platform design. The destroyers will be equipped with the Aegis weapon system, which along with the Australian national elements of the combat system, will provide the Royal Australian Navy with exceptional air warfare capabilities. The forward superstructure houses the ship's command hub, the bridge and the operations room. Air warfare capabilities include a 48-cell vertical launch missile system, using standard missile 2 and evolved Sea Sparrow missiles supported by the Sky Search Radar, the Spy, and Horizon Search Radar, the Spook, and the Mark 99 Fire Control System for illumination of aircraft and anti-ship missile targets. Surface warfare capabilities include long-range anti-ship missiles for over-the-horizon sea and land targets, the Mark 45 Mod 4 5-inch naval gun, Typhoon weapon system, and the Phalanx close-in weapon system. The Hobart-class undersea warfare capabilities include an integrated sonar system consisting of a hull-mounted sonar, an active and passive towed variable depth sonar, torpedo detection system, decoys and surface launch torpedoes. The ships will be powered by two diesel and two gas turbines in a combined diesel or gas configuration and are capable of producing 36 megawatts of power equivalent to 200 family-sized cars. The platform equipment will be controlled and monitored by an advanced integrated platform management system, which reduces the demands on crew in both normal and emergency situations. It provides for centralised control and monitoring of the propulsion plant, electrical plant, auxiliary and ship service systems, survivability systems and steering and stabilising systems. The Hobart class will have a top speed of more than 28 knots and a range in excess of 5,000 nautical miles at 18 knots. The destroyers will have the ability to embark a multi-mission helicopter at sea, similar to the MH60R, for surface and undersea warfare, surveillance and response. Each ship will have a crew of around 180 personnel with accommodation and contemporary recreational facilities for around 230. The design and finishing will represent increased functionality and comfort on board for crew. The Hobart-class combat system is a combination of the Aegis weapon system along with the Australian national elements. These are integrated through the Australian Tactical Interface. The Australian additions to the combat system include communications, electronic warfare, sonar and short-range defence. 
The Aegis weapon system includes the SPY-1DV phased array radar, which provides an advanced air defence system capable of detecting, tracking and engaging enemy aircraft and missiles over sea and land, more than 150 kilometres away. The destroyers will have some of the most advanced maritime warfare capabilities available, giving the Australian Defence Force unprecedented levels of interoperability in coalition forces. The combat system will in effect form a protective bubble around a task group, enabling the ship to protect itself as well as the high value assets within its defensive area. If the ship detects a number of simultaneous hostile threats, multiple missiles can be launched. The spy radar will have detected and be tracking the contacts that the Aegis weapon system will then classify as hostile, such as multiple missiles. The Aegis weapon system manages the engagement process from detection to target destruction, prioritising threats, selecting the best weapon, standard missile 2 or evolved Sea Sparrow missile, fired in quick succession from the vertical launch system. Control of missile in flight provided by the spy radar. The fire control system illuminator for the terminal homing phase of the missile flight and launch of subsequent salvos if required. The Aegis weapon system will hand off engagements to the Phalanx close-in weapon system should a missile be detected at close range. Tracking ability is further enhanced by the addition of the Spook Horizon search radar. This radar assists in the detection and tracking of sea skimming missiles and surface targets, as well as providing support to the navigation picture for collision avoidance. The destroyers will have the Australian developed Nulka Active Missile Decoy System to distract and confuse enemy missiles. Capable of maritime strike, they will be equipped with the Harpoon Missile and the 5 inch gun providing naval gunfire support for troops close to shore and for destroying enemy coastal infrastructure. Additional close-in force protection is provided by two Typhoon weapon systems controlled from the operations room. The Hobart class has facilities for operating and maintaining a single Seahawk multi-role helicopter, which offers significant additional tactical flexibility. The helicopter facilities include the advanced assist system which secures the helicopter to the deck in extreme sea states and permits the on-deck manoeuvring of the helicopter with a single operator, with no need to connect any ancillary equipment or guide cables. When Australia's Hobart-class destroyers enter service in the second half of this decade, they'll form part of a fleet of around 100 Aegis-equipped ships worldwide and will spearhead a significant leap in the Royal Australian Navy's warfare capability. The three destroyers are being built and delivered by a highly qualified team working as the AWD Alliance, made up of Defence Material Organisation, ASC and Raytheon Australia.